What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing a little Cities Skylines, people. I know a lot of hermits have played this game, and so there's a couple reasons why I decided to do it. First, I decided I wasn't going to do it. Then I decided I was going to do it, because we were doing some other indie games. We've really pretty much exhausted the stuff in Subnautica, except for some of the experimental things. And I started playing the experimental save, and it's really kind of buggy. I was losing items. Some different stuff and things happened. So we were going to definitely revisit Subnautica when there's more stuff and things to revisit. But I thought we would check out City Skylines because even though so many Hermits are doing it because we all got codes to it, but um, it looks like it's really fun. So I definitely want to check it out. Now I'm a little bit apprehensive because I've never brought a SimCity type game to the channel before. So make sure if you guys want to see more of this stuff that you hit the like button and show your support for this series. I'm really excited about it. So um, there's a Tweety Bird guy. What are you? Hello, I'm a Twitter clone of the game. The hashtags are coming. All right, so here we go. We're in the city's game. This is what it looks like. Now, this is called Islands, but you can see I'm moving around here. This is as far as you can go. It's not really Islands. It's more like Island. There's just one Island. This one right here. Other than, oh, there's two. But other than that, you can't really tell if they are actually Islands. It's a, they lied. You lied to me. All right, so we're gonna start off by getting some roads going. So let us do road here and road there. Perfection. Road here. Nailed it. Aced it. All right. So we're also going to build a couple little small roads that just are on the edges of some of the districts here, of some of the, where like the zoning things are. This is where we're going to be able to build stuff. All right. So we've got our cool roads. It's quite amazing. Um, then we've got the zoning where we can add zones. So a zone here for residential and another one here for residential. Oh, you know what's really weird? This, I use the snap and I know I got these guys to snap. The roads like snap. Oh, these aren't snapping. So if I do it here, it probably does it cause it's parallel. Yeah. See how it snaps, snap, snap. And I snapped it right here, but still it's left this like zoning dead zone in the center there. That's really quite odd. Um, all right, so we've got our residential going in here. Let's go ahead and let's do another couple of tiny roads here and here. Let's do some more residentials. We like residential zones. They're the best. People are great because they pay taxes. That's why we want people. Let's connect this road like so, and then let's add some commercial area bits to the edge like that. Quite amazing. We will use the draw your own zones tool to squirt a zone right there, and then we'll actually draw a road like so. Let's go draw your squirt your own zone tool. Perfect. Oh no, perfect, I said. All right, so that's like a big commercial area right back here. We've got all of our houses right over here. Let's go ahead and get some industrial zones going on back in this area. So we will go to huh? and there. Wait, no. I keep hitting right mouse button. No. Right mouse button like deletes what you've done or something. Or the zones it does at least. All right. So these guys are going to need power. Let's go ahead and crapo. I can't do it. Can we squirt it in there? Yes! You have it, the power. So we've got power. Now we're gonna need power over in here as well. We'll just put some green power. Did it, nailed it. Green energy, what an excellent choice. Hashtag green annoying clicking. All right, so we've got power. Now we've gotta do water too. Now let's take a look at this right here. This is our water pumping station. This is the water suck, the water of suck. Water pumping station sucks water and gives it to you. Perfect. And then you can see when we select this here, it has these arrows that's the stream, uh, the way that it flows. So we've got to put the pump, which sucks the water. Then we have to place this. This is the town's butt, butt cloaca. So we must place the butt cloaca of the town downstream from the water suck station. So we will do water suck station here. Uh, nailed it. Uh, butt cloaca downstream a bit nailed it aced it all right now watch this man 
because we can get power to both of these things with this. Like so. So now water suck has power. Now we've also got to pipe in water. So if we go over to like this, oh, I think we can do like the center here and then watch the sea. Check that out, man. We'll go all the way down the center like that to probably right here and then do this one all the way down in this direction like so to here. Now all these places have water now. We've watered the whole universe city and they also all have power now. So everyone should stop crying. Everyone was crying. Now they're crying there's no mailman. Oh, they're crying about poop. They're like, there's so much poop in our houses. We've been pooping in our pooping in our poop fountains and now we need there. Oh, and that needs power as well. So we, nah, let's do another power station. How much money do we have? 19,000 buckaroonies. Little green power, never hurt nobody. We'll put it like that. Bam, nailed it. Is everything working now? Did I just do something good in this game already? I'm barely understanding how to play it? This is amazing. Are you, are you pooping out water yet? Poop water from all the people's poop fountains? Not yet. So, but it is a thing. That looks like a cannon. That's like a crap cannon right there. Holy crap. So, look at this, man. Check this out. We very, very, very barely have just begun the game. It is amazing the game beginning. We have now this amazing building. Look at this. We got our power station right here. Just like that looks like the windmill from Farming Sim, as is the music from this game. I think we're going to use the Farming Sim music because because this game seems fun. And I want to have fun, and it's fun music. So we've got these little things. Oh, they're building right here. That is not how buildings are actually built. If anybody has never seen a building be built, they do not appear out of thin air. The economy panel lets you handle taxes and see how much money you make, you make and spend. Continue growing your city to unlock more options and fine-tune the economy. So... Digital Watch is making a comeback this season. Yesterday's future is today. Vintage, safe fashion design. Why is that important? Don't. No, tweeter thing, go away. Access the info view. Whatever, be quiet. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, it's costing us 320 Sliptopia bucks. Oh, oh, Sliptopia bucks. We have to name our town. Is this where we do it? Let's name our town. Sliptopia Ton... Vilberg Town. Perfect. Subtopia Tenberg Bro Vinberg Town. Uh, Gerg? What? Gerg Town? That's not even <laughs> that's not gonna work. Subtopia Tenvilberg Town. Perfect! That's our name of our thing. So um we named our town now. We've got some things going on uh, whatever. Let's look down in here. So it looks like I think we can like select these houses, right? Low density residential building, one of one houses. Sad face, the, no, no, the Coleridge the residence, what, Kevin's house. That's Kevin's house now. So this is Kevin's house. He is sad, orange level. Uh, there are three children and two adults. They're making babies and none of them know anything. They're all stupid. So we need to make them smarter somehow. Um, but check it out. We're, uh, we're losing money. Let's look at our zoning again. Let's let's put some more residentially bits in. In the center here. Here here. Just just come and live in my town. I want all of your tax money. Could you please come and live here so that we can have tax money? I mean, who doesn't like tax money? All right. So it feels like we're doing pretty good here. Let's go ahead and everybody's happy. Now we can speed up the game right there and we can make it a super fast speed. At Viridian underscore dynamics, hit a wall a few times, otherwise it looks something, can't read it so fast, no one cares. Alright, so... Oh, our poop uh, cannon is working. Oh my god. Oh god. It's just putting the poop right into the river. That isn't even... This is 2015. I mean, this used to be the practice. I know, especially... <gasps> We've done a thing! Congratulations. Little Hamlet. Reach a population of 400. So I was just about to say that I know that like, in the small towns where I grew up, they used to put poop right into the river, like in the like 20s. But I mean, the modern times, they don't do that anymore. 
probably get a waste plant of some sort at some time. Now we can institute taxes. You can now adjust the taxation of different zones in the money panel. We can take out a loan, great. We can give the people garbage, healthcare, and education. Um, all right, so it looks like the landfill site allows us to, re to take care of garbage. Medical clinic for uh, being for that, doing that. An elementary school, a medical clinic for uh, if you have a, some sort of disorder or disease. All right, let's build a road. Can we can we just go this way a little bit? Like this. All right, we'll go like this. And then, how much money does this cost? Garbage dump. Four grand. Bam, I made a garbage dump. I'm amazing. This is our town, Subtopia Tunvilberg town. Garbage facility. Um, it comes, when you build a garbage facility, it comes pre-loaded with tons of garbage already. Um, you'd think it would fill up over time. But um, to get the most out of your building's road, look at the special tool available thingy doodler. So what can we do with this? Open the budget panel, rotate the building, 160 bucks a week for that bad boy. But it's probably pretty good, people are glad, now they they can poop and their poop goes down the toilet, <laughs> awesome, and people come to take their garbage. So now we can also build, uh, whatever this is, medical. So let's do our medical, right over, it's 10,000 bucks, holy crap -oh. All right, medical. Everybody's got it now. So, no power? No, you have power. Do you not? Yeah, you got power. Stop crying. And you got water. You're good to go. So, the other thing that we could build were was a school. So, we got our school, possibly. Where can we build our school? Well, we don't want to really... Let's build the school right by the hospital. That way, if there's a disaster, like a plane train accident, like say a train is driving by the school and it hits the school and then a plane falls on the train and that all happens at the school, the hospital is right next door. Oh, happy faces for everybody. So people really like education and we're making money. We're making a profit here in Subtopia 10 Vilberg Town. This is pretty unbelievable, peeps. Now, are we use, have we used up all of our zoning? All right, so we still have some extra zoning ready to go for industrial over here. We've got a huge amount of zoning ready to go for, um, for whatever this is, uh, residential. And then, yeah, so we, we're not, and then our commercial. So we're not really using up our zoning. You know what I am thinking, though? Let's connect some of these roads real quick because I feel like there's going to be a traffic problem at some point. We've got our poop cloaca. Oh, this is going great. Let's speed up time. So we can speed up time right here. It is the fifth, uh, the 28th of uh, the fifth month. Uh, May. I always have to count them out. <laughs> it is 2015. I'm like, May. I don't know. I mean, I know. Oh, it's uh, the month after May now. Six. June. I know it's June. I just don't. I, I figure we should just call them. Why don't we just call them six month? Wouldn't it be easier? You have to name Augustus after friggin' Roman emperors and stuff instead of just calling it eight. Um, but all right, here's so random, so random. So our stuff and things are going good. Everything looks great. Now we we hit that milestone. I can't remember. Oh, what's this? Free camera mode. That sounds too free for me. I don't think I'm ready. This is our demand meter, right? Low demand. So we don't have a lot of demand for anything right now. Ooh, that commercial zone. Holy crap, oh, check it out. It's getting built up. It's getting built up big time. A blackout again, can't even call or email electric company, blah, blah, blah. So some sort of problem with the power system. Let us do what any good person would do in this situation and simply build more windmills. Ooh, we've done it. We've done it. Worthy village, a worthy village. 2K plus 2K. So we've increased, you can purchase a new piece of land in the area of view. All right, sweet. So we can kind of open it up. Now we've got districts. Districts can be used to divide your city into specialized areas with policies. Oh my God, it's getting so complicated. 
Pol <laughs> use policies to assign city or district-wide regulations and specializations. You can get two loans now, which we don't need because we're amazing at managing our town and our financial situation is, is we're just fisc fiscally thumbs up. Uh, industrial specializations, you can specialize the district or local industry to benefit from natural resources. Special policies adjust the existing city services with the service policies. So much is happening. Fire department, police department, unique buildings. Attractions that draw tourists. We don't want tourists. Forestry specialization, agricultural specialization, specialization. New policies for power usage, water usage, smoke detector distribution. This is getting really, this is getting really complicated. So we gotta start paying attention, I feel like. I feel like we gotta start paying attention. So we still don't really have a big demand for anything. We are having a power problem cropping up over here. So we're going to go ahead and add another windmill. Okay, I mean, how much is this guy? That's 20 grand. That's a huge amount of money. We're not ready. We're not ready. Green power for now. So right here we can see, okay, that our electricity production is 27 megawatts and our consumption is 17 megawatts. Connective, inactive, disconnected. Everybody's connected. We're doing great with electricity. Water, super amazing. Holy crap. Our water pumping capacity is 120,000. What is that? Meters squared? Meters... Yeah, meters... No. What? M3... We, I don't even know what M3 means. I'm trying to think. Wouldn't it be like liters? Uh, anyway. We got M3s, baby. 120,000 M3s and all this water assumption. M3s are doing good. So what if we click on this? What happens? Landfill usage. Incineration status. That's cool. I didn't even notice that up in the upper left there. Six citizens, zero. Average health, 60%. We can kind of see all this stuff. <gasps> oh, baby. All right. So now we got to get into this. This is important stuff right now. We've got to place our fire department. So the further away from the fire department, the worse the chance of fires is. So how much does it cost to place this bad boy? What does it say? 12,000 bucks. So we probably want to make sure... We probably want to make sure it's kind of centrally located. We might have to evict somebody. We can do it here. We can do it here. We could do it down here on the corner area. Might not be a bad idea. But that means that it's equidistant in between. Oh, you see? It can only get, like, so much. See how... Okay, it's turned the roads green. So see how the road turns green and then as it gets uh, goes away, it kind of... It kind of dissipates it. Uh, the green color goes away. So we can't even reach the industrial zones. So screw it. We'll just put it over here by the houses. <laughs> the industrial zones, you guys are SOL. So we'll put it down over... Wow, well, we got to... Right there's... Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, uh, we're not getting really good coverage over to the school or the hospital. So maybe if they catch on fire, they just go to the hospital. Perfect. So all those people are happy. And these guys are like, mm, we're not so happy. In case there's a fire. Um, so, unique buildings. Unique buildings are gained by activating... We're kind of low on money. Now, I thought we said we gained some unique buildings. But I don't think we did. Statue? No, wait. We can't get this. Or is it that we can't afford it? That's probably what it is. So, and then do we get something else? I can't remember now. There's our unique buildings. There's our set districts. Oh, what's this telling us right here? Okay. The race district, forest industry, farming industry, generic industry, paint district. So we just paint a district, an area? Forest industry. I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on. Although. I will say we're making a huge amount of money. So let's just speed up time here. I feel like we're just gonna maybe take a little bit of baby steps here. Let me speed up the time and I'll tell you what, we're gonna I'm just gonna kinda see how stuff and things are going. Let's take a look at how much population we have. We don't have a lot of demand for anything yet. 
Just gotta kinda let things go for a second and see what happens, and I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back, and we've reached a population of 1,300. We are now a tiny town. We can institute a pet ban. Tired of watching your step to avoid animal droppings? Banning pets is so is a surefire way to get rid of that problem. We're not doing that. Yeah, we're not doing that. Because I have a I have a pet. We're not doing that. Smoking ban? Uh yeah, we could probably do that. And parks and recreation. Make your parks and plazas the envy of the country. Moderately increase land value around parks and plazas, increase decorating. That's really cool. So now we can also build a high school. Now, did we unlock any unique buildings? City money minus one. Fill three instances of cemeteries. Average citizens. So we can't click this. Statue of shopping. What? <laughs> An achievement. A huge hadron. That's crazy. All right, so we're not going to get into that. We'll get into it in a second. What I was just looking at here is taxes. One of the things, let's go ahead and we can hit space and pause the game. Um, let's go into our policies. And I, and I enacted some of these policies. So we, we turned on a power usage policy, which is going to um, cost five cents per building, but helps us to conserve on power. We did that with water usage as well. Um, and we did a smoke detector distribution program. So the pet ban, we're not going to do smoking ban. Sorry, peeps, no smoking. Parks and Recreation increases decoration budget by 20%. Let's do it. I don't care. I feel like we want to have a beautiful place. Beautiful place. All right, so we can do... What is this over here? So we can't do any of these things. They're all blacked out. Remember to have a look at your newly unlocked services. I know. So this is 20000 We Oh, whoa. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is our suddenly our budget negative 20000 Oh, crap. We're losing money. Oh, this is not good. We're losing a huge amount of money. Is that just from those policies that I enacted? Let's turn all of those off. See what happens. No. Where's all our money going? Oh, wait. Here it comes back now. Oh, yeah. Boy, did those cost a lot. Holy crap. Oh, we got... Oh, whoa. whoa. No, 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 no. Holy moly. Fire department. There's a piece of new land available for purchase. Take a look. All right, so we got a police the p police problem here. Let's go ahead and set up our police station there. So shut up. Stop complaining about police problem. We got it. It's good. So then parks. All right, we want to set up a park. A uh, thousand bucks, small park. I like it here. Every all those people are happy. Great, we've got a power problem. Let's solve that. Uh, let's put some more power back in this area. Put another windmill here, and we'll just do another one. We got we got we're spending a lot of money. I realize this. So let's go ahead and turn this back up. Oh wait, no no no. Pause. One of the other things I want to do is I want to get another road going here. So let's go ahead and go like so over to here. No, all the way to the end. Uh, all the way to here. Oh, no, wait. Space is already occupied. Why is the space already occupied? By this stupid house? Can I bulldoze you? Yeah, why does an auto bulldoze? Yeah, screw you, buddy. Your move. Sorry, buddy. We had to move you. Nailed it. So then now what we're going to do is... How much money do we have? 11 grand. We've got to be really careful with our cash flow right now. Oh, man. I want to move. Can we move you? Oh, no. That's kind of crappy. So we have a windmill in the way-ish. Let's go ahead and take our residential oh why did the zone get smaller we'll use the paint tool we're just gonna paint you all the way down let's come over here and build another crossroad right there and then take our residential painty tool uh, nope residential painty tool and we're gonna add a bunch more residential zone all the way back into this area take our road extend it like so 
and then zone in these guys as well. Now I feel like we might have a water problem now. We're down to 11 grand, but we need more people. Like we've got to have more people uh, living in our town. So let's go ahead and rate, no, right here. Okay, we got it, nailed it, aced it. Down to here. How much money are we at? Eight grand. All right. Now we've got a lot. See, that's weird that we did the snap, but it's not doing the, it still leaves a little bit of area unsnappied. So we'll just use our painting tool. We're gonna turn this all into residential, all down in through here, like so. Now we're gonna add some more commercial area right here. Uh, actually, let's undo that guy, there we go. Add some more commercial area in right there. A Little bit of residentially bit right there. And we will do nothing over in that spot. Now, oh, we have another power problem? No, power's fine. Crime is fine. Oh, they just must not have got, have not gone away yet because we haven't done the, the stuff and things. So the next thing we wanna check is water. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's a water problem. All right, we can easily solve a water problem. It's no problem, the water problem. Let us go in this early direction until we are like here probably. Is that gonna work? Um, I'll tell you what, let's try There's a little bit of overlap there. Look at this. It's amazing. Oh, it doesn't want to like do it. Oh, you're being a pain in my nuts. Let's just bulldoze that bad boy. If we were to start from here, there, we've got a little bit of overlap, but it's not a big deal. Turn it on, peeps. Not enough money for that guy. All right, let's see what's happening here. Little road. Can't do it. So our money's doing good. Our happiness dropped a little bit there for some reason. Some people are complaining about water. Why are you complaining about water? No, that's not water. That's people moving in. It looks just like water. Um, the other thing that I think that I did here, I think I did it. Let's take a look. I increased a couple of budgets um, by a little bit. I increased the school budget to make people smarter and I increased the, uh, what is that? The fire department budget, just so that we have less fires, which I, I don't know, it sounds like a pretty awesome idea to me. Or people are happy we're making a lot more money. All right, let's go back to our policies. Let's turn power usage, water usage, and smoke detectors on. Let's see how much of a drop we have because of this. Holy crap. Yeah, that kills us, man. That destroys us. Look how much that costs. That's unbelievable. Okay, we can't afford it. Like, let's just, can we do smoke detector distribution? At the very least? All right, it's coming back up. The city program smoke detectors for residents free of charge. I mean, they should have to buy them themselves. Why do we have to give them smoke detectors? Now these guys are without power. Uh, let's just go ahead and zone in order to get power. Right there. Is that not working? Okay, hold on, hold on. Slow down time. Let's, let's look at our power situation here. Why is there not enough power? I feel like there should be plenty. How much do you cost, buddy? Six grand? We can just barely afford it. Should we put one more of these guys up? I feel like we gotta save up our money. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Shut up about the power. Now those zones should be good. There they go, there they go. All right, we did it, we nailed it. All right, everything looks like we're doing good. We are making some money now, not very much. 
But I feel like the smoke detector thing is important, man. I feel... Actually, honestly, I can't believe that they expect me to pay for their smoke detectors. This is how legislators feel. But I think that that's going to be it for today, guys. Sliptopiaton Vilberg Town is coming along quite nicely. We've got our police station, our fire station, our schools. We can now, we can actually build a high school once we have $24,000. It's going to be a couple months before we get a school going here. <laughs> So we'll just have to turn up the time and let it go. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. That's City Skylines. Make sure, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like this and you want to see more, hit the thumbs up button and show your support for the new series. Feel free to share and favor the videos you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you. What are you? You're like a little airport. What? Firehouse. Oh, cool.